Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please all kneel. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Thomas Aquinas, a great teacher in the church. And we ask the Lord Jesus that today, as our great teacher, our Lord Jesus might bring us to the presence of God the Father. And so to prepare ourselves for this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine. Grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus, we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We, must con we, we should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this all the more, as you see the day drawing near. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. 
Thomas Aquinas and uh, we celebrate the day of schools, teachers, university students because he is the patron saint of all of these. And we greet also the community of the University of Santo Tomas, our Dominican brothers and sisters, our Dominican brothers and sisters. We ask them to include us in their prayers today to St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas was a teacher. But he would say that as a teacher, he said, faith should not end in propositions, but it should end in the realities themselves. Sabi ni Santo Tomas, dapat ang pananampalataya ay hindi lamang matapos sa pagtuturo, kundi ang pagtuturo niya ay dapat madala tayo sa katotohanan ng Diyos. This is what Thomas Aquinas tells us today that as a teacher, he should not only bring us to the knowledge of God, but he should bring us to the reality of God. That God in the end may become true to all of us after his teaching. And this is also what Jesus taught us. In our first reading today, we see how Jesus opens for us the way to the Father. According to our first reading today, because of Jesus, because of his body and blood, we now have confidence to enter into the sanctuary of God. Jesus, the great teacher, opens the way to the Father. Ang pagtuturo ni Jesus sa atin ay hindi lamang para makilala, malaman natin kung sino ang Diyos, kundi binubuksan ni Jesus ang daan patungo sa Diyos. Jesus, the teacher, does not want only to teach us about God, but to bring us to God. My dear brothers and sisters, for the past almost one year that we are in quarantine, in community quarantine, we have been celebrating these online Masses. And many of you have told us, messaged us, that uh, you have been inspired by our teachings, by the celebrations themselves. But our hope is, like St. Thomas Aquinas said, that we should not only teach you about God, that you should not only learn about God, but our wish is that our celebrations, our teachings would bring you to God. Sana po yung ating mga pagdiriwang, hindi lamang tayo natututo, kundi dinadala tayo sa Diyos. And after all the teachings that St. Thomas has said, has written in his books, he would say that all of these should not end in just teachings, but that God would become real in our lives when we hear about God's Word, God's teachings. This is the light that is said in our Gospel today. The lamp that is brought not under the bed or a basket, but a lamp is put on a lampstand so that it would enlighten the room. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the greatest teachers in the Church. And uh, his life 
was not only geared towards teaching us about God, but His teachings brought us to God. Let us ask our Lord Jesus today, our great teacher, who opened the way to the Father, that upon hearing the teaching coming from Jesus, He might open our hearts and our minds and bring us closer to God. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become light of the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may be like light on a mountaintop, guiding people in their journey to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the old, and the neglected may continue to hope because of the light shown by those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal light may shine on our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let our light shine towards all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Blessed Thomas Aquinas, be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of His holy life, teach her by His words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the Living Bread that on the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.